Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. We certainly do thank and praise you. This is your servant, Pastor Warren Jones of the God's Way Christian Church and Ministries. We thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of what we are doing. We just want to welcome you to our service today. We are out and about in God's amen earth. Amen. We are on the outside today. We are just ready to share with you a word from the Lord. We thank and praise God that he is able just to allow us to come out today. We thank him for waking us up. We thank him for getting us out and we thank him. Heavenly Father, we really do thank you and love you for allowing us to be out in the fresh air today in your nature out here just to share a word from the Lord. We want to share a word from the book of Romans. Amen. Today, this morning, we ask that you would turn in your Bibles to the book of Romans, the first chapter, and we're going to share the gospel message with you. Not a difficult message, not a complicated message, not a profound message, but a great message from the Lord sharing his gospel with you. So if you would turn in your Bibles to the book of Romans chapter 1, and we will start reading at verse 13, maybe through about 16 or 17. Amen. Just give you just a moment again. To turn in your Bibles to Romans, the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 13. And we will commence with reading God's word. And it reads this way for your hearing. This is the Apostle Paul. He wrote the book of Romans and he is speaking to us through God's word. It says, Now I would not have you ignorant, brethren, that all times... I purposed to come to you, but was let hitherto. In other words, I was not able to come, that I might have some fruit among you also, even as among the Gentiles. I am a debtor to the Greeks or to the Gentiles and to the barbarians, both to the wise and the unwise. So as much in me is... I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. And here's our focus verse for today. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Just want to read verse 16 one more time for your hearing. That is our verse. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. To the Jew first and also to the Greek or to the Gentile. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you so much. Thank you, Lord God, for just another day, another opportunity to be, oh God, in the open air today. Thank you, we thank you, Lord God, for you just allowing us to be able to share the gospel message. We pray now, Lord God, that you would anoint your man's servant on high. We know, oh yes. God, that you know what you want to tell your people. Yes. And as always, you know what they need to hear. Use your man's servant today that somebody would be helped somebody would be delivered yes. somebody would be saved even a backslider reclaimed yes. for this is the prayer of your son's sake lord god in jesus name i pray amen 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 i'm not ashamed of the gospel amen just want to by way of introduction let you know there are many things that people are ashamed of many many things that uh folks may be ashamed of they're ashamed of their background. Yep. They're ashamed of, uh, amen, some of us are ashamed of our culture and even yep. our color. Yes, sir. We are ashamed that we are a people of color. We are ashamed mm -hmm. of our upbringing. Sometimes we are ashamed of our parents. Sometimes we are ashamed of our neighborhoods, our communities. 
we may even be ashamed of our jobs. Amen. Yeah. And yet there are still some of us who are ashamed of ourselves. In yeah. other words, they don't have a man a self-esteem. They are right. not happy with their cells. They're not happy with their skin complexion. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. not happy with the way they're living. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, this gospel, amen, that Paul talks about in the book of Romans where he says, I am not ashamed. That's right. And that's what I want to talk about today. Just a few things for you here. We won't be long. But I just want to let you know, first of all, we're not ashamed to be here, saints. Amen. Right. We're not ashamed to be here, folks. Yes, Amen. Right. We're not ashamed to be here. Those of you who are listening, we love what God is doing. Yeah. We thank God and we come to just give him the glory. Yeah. The Apostle Paul tells us, amen, in this particular text, he wants to come to Rome. He desires to come to Rome uh -huh. to share the gospel message with the people of Rome. That was his desire. In other words, Paul said, I have a burden. Amen. He says, I am ready. Yes, he did. He says, I am ready. Come on now Come on, to God. share the gospel. He said, I am not ashamed. Mm -hmm. He says, I am just a debtor. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. He had a burden. Amen. He had a burden because he was a debtor. His debt was to society. Uh -huh. His debt was to God, the God, Jesus Christ, who saved him. That's why he had a debt. Paul understood some things. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. He understood some things because he persecuted God's people. That's right. That's right. Out of his ignorance, mm -hmm. out of his love for Judaism, out of his love for trying a man to please God, but only finding that he was persecuting God's people. Mm -hmm. So God one day saw fit to just give him, amen, one of the greatest, greatest, yeah. uh, 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 should I say, um, uh, experiences that he ever had. Mm -hmm. In other words, he was on his way to Damascus, yes, and the Lord knocked him off his beast of burden, yes, he and did. he saw God high and lifted up. Yes. And yes. God asked him, Saul, Saul at the time he was called Saul before his name was Paul, right. why persecuted Thou, my people, uh -huh. you're not worthy to kick against the prince. You're not yes. worthy to do it. Yes. So he blinded Paul, amen, amen, so that he could allow him to see. And, you know, every now and then our eyes have to be blinded. Yes. Our eyes have to be closed. Yes. Every now and then we have to be down on our backs before we can look up. That's right. Amen. amen. And Paul was saved that day. Uh -huh. God saved them. God saved him from that hellious life that he was living, from persecuting his people. And I don't know about you, one Come day on. God saved me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He yeah. saved me when I was out there doing everything that I was big and bad and bold enough to do, uh -huh. doing those things that weren't pleased to God. So I thank God for the burden that Paul had you, because Lord. that's the same burden that God gives me. Amen. I am a debtor yeah. to the gospel message. I am a debtor to the good news that Jesus Christ suffered, bled, and died for my sins. I'm a debtor. That yeah. gives Amen. me a burden. That's right. That's right. I have a burden to preach. Thank you. I have a burden Thank to you, share Lord. the gospel. Yeah. I have a burden to share that gospel mm -hmm. in season or out of season when I feel yeah. good and when I don't. Amen. Amen. I have a burden to share that gospel in the building. Amen. Amen. Or out here. Amen. In the Amen. open air or yeah. on the street corners, in the alleyways, That's the it. highways Amen. or byways. On, I have a burden. Yes, Amen. Amen. Just like Paul had. And not only did Paul have a burden, but he had a boldness. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, he did. He had a boldness. He says, I am ready. That's right. Amen. I'm ready. I don't know about you, but I'm ready in season and out of season. Uh -huh. I'm ready when the time is good. I'm ready when the time is not. Amen. I'm ready to preach this Come gospel on, message whenever God will allow me a platform. Yeah. I don't need Come a on, pulpit. Hey, yeah. Hallelujah. 
This is my pulpit. Uh -huh. God's earth is my pulpit. Well, the amen. park is my pulpit. Yeah. The street corner is my pulpit. Yeah. The alleyway is my pulpit. Come on. The amen. White House can be my pulpit. Yeah. Even the outhouse, if it needs to yeah. be, it has to be and will be my pulpit. Well, In amen. other words, there must be a boldness. Uh -huh. Come on, amen. Saints, we got too many people, uh, uh -huh. too many people that's not ready to share the uh -huh. gospel. Amen. Too many, if I can say it this way, lily livid Christians, uh -huh. uh, Christians with no backbone, Come on. that's Amen. not ready to share the gospel, uh -huh. that's ashamed of the gospel, yeah. that Amen. don't want to preach the gospel well. wherever they may go. Uh -huh. You may be with potentates, uh -huh. uh, kings and queens. Well, uh, you man. may be with whomever you want to be with, uh -huh. politicians and others. Well, you man. ought to have a boldness. Come on, Amen. Man. Amen. To preach that gospel. Yes. Paul had a boldness. He says, I'll preach it to the Greeks. Uh -huh. I'll preach it to the Gentiles. Yes, he did. Uh, I'll preach it to the Jews. Yeah. Uh, I'll preach it to <laughs> King Agrippa. Uh -huh. I'll preach it wherever I go because uh -huh. I have a boldness, boldness to preach this gospel. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank, thank God. You, thank you. Not only did Paul have a burden, not only did he have a boldness, uh -huh. but yet and still he had a belief. Come on, oh, man. yes, he did. That's what our verse 16 says. Now, verse 16, say, Paul says, I am not ashamed. I'm getting excited. Say, on, I don't know about you. He says, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, uh -huh. for it is the power of God. Come on, somebody. Right. Unto salvation uh -huh. to everybody Everyone. who believes, to the Jew first yeah. and also to the Greek. Yeah. In other words, Paul was talking about the gospel is superior. Yeah. Amen. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The gospel is a superior. Uh -huh. It is superior. Amen. It is supreme. Yeah. And it is sufficient. Uh -huh. Amen. Not only that, but it's simplistic. Yeah, oh, hallelujah. Did you get right. that, Saint? Get him, God. Did you get that? Come on back with The it. gospel is supreme. Come on. He says, for I'm not a saint, for it is the power of God. Yes, yes right. the gospel is the power of God. I want you to know today there is no power like God's power. That's Amen. right. I'm talking about that's electronic power. Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. There's atomic power. Come on. There's electrical power. Yeah. There's all kinds of power, but there is no power. Well. There's nuclear power. There's solar power. Yeah. But Amen. there is no power like God's That's power. Right. That's there right. is no power like the power of the gospel. The yeah. power of the Amen. gospel is the power that changes. Amen. Yeah. Punks Amen. in the preachers. Uh -huh. Come on somebody. That's right. That's right. The power of the gospel will change drunks. Amen. Amen. And make them deep Yes. will raise up Amen. those who are walking the streets, women who are walking the streets, uh -huh. and make them missionaries. Amen. Yes. And deaconess, I'm talking about the Amen. power of the gospel. Yeah. Amen. The gospel is supreme. Uh -huh. There is no power that can do what the gospel power can do. Uh -huh. The gospel Amen. can change from the uttermost, the guttermost to the uttermost. Well, It'll well, change well. anybody. And Amen. I know that's true because it changed me. On, oh, now. hallelujah. The gospel changed me. Uh -huh. When I was a man, I was too messed up to live. Uh -huh. And I was uh, not ready to die. Uh -huh. But the gospel, one time I just called on the name of Jesus. Come on, I called his name. Yeah. Somebody need Thank to know it today. Lord. And it was the gospel that changed my life. That's right, it was man. the gospel that allowed me to stand up straight. Uh -huh. It's man. the gospel to allow me to know that I can live a sober life. Uh -huh. It was the gospel that let me know that I didn't need all these other addictions uh -huh. and other things that we might have. Uh -huh. You know, drugs isn't the only addiction. Uh -huh. There's Amen. sexual addiction. Yeah. There's food addictions. Uh -huh. uh, there's all kinds of power addictions uh -huh. and money addictions. Yeah. Uh, but the gospel will save you from every and any kind of addiction because right. the gospel is supreme. That's Amen. right. I'm talking Amen. about the supremacy of the gospel. Oh, let me hurry on. Let me hurry on. You need to know that not only was the gospel supreme, mm -hmm. but then the gospel was sufficient. Uh -huh. It was sufficient to do what no other thing could do. Amen. It was sufficient in and of itself because you don't need anything else. That's right. Amen. God can save you. Yes. Amen. In your current situation. Amen. God can save you regardless yes, of where you are. You don't have to stop drinking. Yes, you don't have to stop drugging. Yes, 
That's you right. don't have to stop doing what you do. All you need to do is call on the name of Jesus, Jesus. and Amen. the gospel will save you. It is sufficient. Yes, it is. To do what no other Tell thing can do. Tell them, Doc. It will do what no drug can do. Amen. I don't care what kind of pills you're on. Amen. I don't care what kind of medicines you take. Uh, the gospel, and don't, don't, I'm not saying don't take your medicines. Oh, let me, let me get that straight. Do what the doctor right. tell you to do. Amen. God sends doctors. But I'm just trying to Tell let them, you know that the gospel is sufficient to heal you. Amen. Mm-hmm. The gospel is sufficient to fix you yeah. in whatever situation you are in. That's oh, right. hallelujah. Yeah. I know yeah. I'm right about it. Many, many have testified uh-huh. to the power of the gospel, uh-huh. how the gospel was sufficient to change their life, uh-huh. regardless of what you're doing, That's right. regardless of where you are in your life today. Amen. You need to know that you are not lost. Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. You are not lost to the Lord as long as you have breath. Uh, amen in your body. Right. As long as you have blood running warm Come in on. your veins, amen. the gospel can change you and help you to become what God wants you to be. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. That's, right. That's what the gospel is all about. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, I tell you, the gospel is supreme. Yes. Thank you, Lord. The gospel is sufficient. Thank you, Father. And then the gospel is simplistic. Oh, I like that. The gospel, that's what the scripture said. Amen. It says it is the power of God unto salvation uh-huh. to everyone that believes. That's right. Amen. In other words, you don't have to have a million dollars. That's right. You, you, you know, the gospel is, is, is made so uh, uh, not just the rich would live and the poor would die. Uh-huh. You don't need a whole lot. You don't need a theological degree. That's right. You, you don't need to have an intellect IQ that's so high it's off the scale and off the chart. Mm-hmm. The gospel is simplistic. The gospel plus nothing will save you. Amen. Amen. I'm talking about you. All you need to do today is call on the name of Jesus. Jesus. All you need to do is believe what the gospel can do. All you need to do is have faith Uh in the Lord Jesus Christ that he is the son of God, Mm -hmm. that he suffered, bled, and died for your sins, that Mm -hmm. he was crucified on Calvary cross, and that he rose again from the dead. And the Bible says, thou shalt be saved. That's all it takes. The gospel is simplistic. Amen. It is simple enough to save anybody and everybody. Amen. Come on, somebody. That's what they say. Lottie, dotty, and everybody. everybody. The right. gospel can save you today. Mm-hmm. So all you need to do, all you need to do, I'm closing. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I, I, I got to stop you, here. All you need to do is call on the name of Jesus. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I love the name of Jesus Amen. because at the name of Jesus, Demons tremble. Amen. At the name of Jesus, trouble will have to yeah. go away. Amen. At the name of Jesus, addictions can be conquered. Uh-huh. At the name of Jesus, strongholds can be broken Amen. down. Yeah. At the name of Jesus, Amen. oh, hallelujah, you can be saved. Thank you. Saved from what? Saved from death, hell, and the grave. That's yes, right. that's what the gospel does. Yeah. It will save you. That's it right. will save you. Yeah. It will allow you to be with God forever uh-huh. and ever throughout all eternity. Oh, that's yeah. what the oh, word yeah. said. Yes, John 3:16, one of the most simplest scriptures uh-huh. in the Bible. Uh-huh. It says, For God so loved the world well, that he gave his only begotten son, uh-huh. that whosoever believeth in him uh, shall yeah. not perish. Uh, but have eternal or everlasting life. Amen. You can have everlasting life today. You can have eternal life today. Amen. You can be saved today. Amen. You can be born again today. Yeah. You can have a new lease on life today. You, All you need to Thank do you, is Lord. call on Jesus. Call on Hallelujah. Jesus. His name Thank is you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank God for Thank Jesus. You, Lord. Thank God that he saw fit one day to suffer, bleed, and die on Calvary's cross for our sin, for my sins. I I might as well make it personal. He died for me while yet I was a sinner. When I didn't deserve it, when I had no right, hallelujah, to even be in the midst, Mm -hmm. amen, 
in the thoughts of God. But he saved me anyhow because Thank he loved you, me. And you need to know today, you can be saved today. You can be saved today. Thank you, Lord. You, 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 you can have a new lease on life. You can be born again today. And all you need to do is call on the name of Jesus. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Call on his name today. Yes, Lord. I don't care what's going on in your life. You may have some problems in your life, some circumstances and some situations that's too big for you. Beyond your control, I dare you to trust in Jesus. Mm. I dare you to call on his name today. He'll save you. He'll fix your situation. He'll make your life better. Yes, In fact, he he'll make your life brand new. Amen. Thank yes, God for will. Jesus. We thank God today. Thank you, Lord. If you have not called on the name of Jesus, you need to know today that all you need to do, the scriptures say, is to believe that Jesus is the son of God. And that God has raised him from the dead. And the Bible says, the word of God says, you shall be saved. Yes. No mites, no if and buts. God is not a man that he should lie. That's right. His word is true. And when his word goes out, it will never come back That's void. That's right. God. It will never not do what God intended it to do. That's right. Hallelujah. You can trust Thank God you. today. Mm. You can trust God today. Yes. You can be saved today. All you need to do is call on the name of Jesus. We thank you today. Thank, thank you. Lord. Thank, thank you, you for listening. Thank you for being a part of our ministry. Thank we you, thank Jesus. you for sharing your time with us. God's time. Hallelujah. Thank Amen. you. We thank you. And again, I am your head servant, the pastor of the God's Way Christian Church and Ministries. We just come to share this gospel message with you that Jesus Christ was buried, was crucified, and I should say was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead. That's what the yes. scripture says. And was seen, hallelujah, among us. It was witnesses to his resurrection. Yeah. We just came out of resurrection time, saints. We're still in resurrection time. Amen. We're still talking about the resurrection. Yeah. Amen. Thank God for the resurrection. So again, we greet you to take part in our worship service. We have Bible study at 6.30 on Wednesdays. We have prayer service 1 p.m. on Fridays. Amen. We just invite you to be a part of this ministry, the God's Way Christian Church and Ministries, right here in Baltimore City. You can reach us by dialing 978 nine nine zero five thousand with an access code of eight zero three eight three one in the pound again that's nine seven eight nine nine zero five thousand with an access code of eight zero three eight three one and a pound and should god desire on your heart to support this ministry financially amen we, we're not a begging church saints only thing we want to do is share the gospel, but if you want to help us in our endeavor, in our ministries that we do have, you can do so by sending your donations to our cash app tag, which is dollar sign God's way 0156. Again, that's dollar sign G-O-D-S-W-A-Y 0156. Thank you so very much for tuning in and listening to us. God bless you. We love you. May heaven continue to bless you and smile upon you. Have a wonderful, wonderful, great getting up Sunday. Amen. Thank you.